What's up, guys? Good welcome, morning. Welcome back <laughs> to another video. So, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Today's what Saturday. Today's Day Saturday for Christmas. us. Yeah. So you guys see this sometime next week. What? Roll cage day. Kind of excited about this. Oh yeah. So we got these from a company. Uh, we just found. We hadn't uh, even heard of them before, but really like their design. Uh, a few other features that they had. So this whole roll cage, they've actually assembled it. And they put it on their jig and they tack it together. Mind you, think about the rest of the kits. They don't weld these on. They don't drill the holes. Uh, they don't do any of that. So I know the last kit we did, we actually had to chop the, the, uh, the bars at the bottom. We had to make sure they're at the right angle, everything, chop them weld the plate on, drill the holes through the plate, do that whole deal. So this actually took a lot of work out of it. You can pay a little bit of additional and have it to where they, they call it a tack and fit. So they actually put this whole thing on a jig, tack everything together, and that way when it leaves their facility, they know it fits and lets us know that it, we know it fits. Everything's numbered so we know which joints are which for the different pieces. That says five right there. This says five right here. Pretty easy. Um, something that took us a while to actually figure out about when we're putting the paint boot together. <laughs> Just follow the numbers and put number to number. Um, but yeah, so Jared had a great idea of how to deal with this, if you want to tell him. So, let me get this turned around. We didn't know how we were going to lift this thing in here by ourselves with, well, just the two of us and having this going to be pretty much a top heavy i would imagine it's going to pretty much fall well, the forward is so tall yeah and this thing is thing. up high right now and we have it like this so we can actually spin a complete circle without hitting the quarter panels on this bottom crossbar so what we're going to do lift this the two post lift all the way up extend these two arms out all the way and lift it into place so we're going to lift the we're going to lift the uh roll cage up roll this out of the way and then roll it back in and then drop it so just to do our test fit right, right. and yeah. then get so, it back out so, of the way so we're going to move the rotisserie we're going to build the cage right here lift it up roll this back in set it in place make sure everything's good yep drill and the holes we'll be able to drill the holes through the floor and that way we get paint inside of those those holes yep and then we'll lift the cage back up and get it out of the way so yeah, i think it'll work it'll work good yeah, no, I really like the idea, especially with these lifts. I'm sure you guys remember us showing you, they come out twice. So they overlap, they go well past center. <laughs> Which is crazy, because this lift is very wide already. Oh, I mean, our other lifts didn't do that. They only had one extension, and there's many times when that would cause issues for us. So um, we have the time lapse going already, so we're gonna get cracking. We're gonna move this out of the way, start assembling, the roll cage right here and then lift it up yep. try to do some test fitting we're going to try not to scratch the primer uh, the best we can and that's uh, a good thing it's just still primer right yeah because <laughs> i don't know if you guys we discussed it with you guys but we were having this kind of debate of we don't didn't have a roll cage yet we're getting ready to start the primer and then the paint and whatnot uh a lot of the roll cages because of the pandemic uh, are hard to, to get a hold of so we and everyone's been doing their projects everyone's sold out of everything because everyone is building their projects right now which is awesome but at the same time it sucks when you're trying to get parts so we found this company they're really cool easy to deal with and um well i put some information down in the description for you guys but yeah so we're gonna get cracking on this and yeah oh the, yeah the debate was we didn't want to assemble a roll cage inside of the Bronco once it's painted. Uh, worrying about, you know, if there was a fitment issue, if there was scratching, whatnot. Definitely did not want to weld inside of it because as you guys remember, we are painting the whole interior. We're gonna put carpet down, but the carpet could always be removed. So we wanna make sure it has a perfect finish. So this is, this is pretty much our last chance to do this before we get this painted is we're gonna some of the roll cage, get it inside, drill the holes, make sure it all fits perfectly. So we're going to get going on that and uh, watch the time lapse and we'll be back in a few. All 
right guys, I don't know if you caught what we did here. We used the lift just kind of to hold these in place. We made sure these bottom sections were level. Um, so all four corners here are level. We lined these up with the marks that they gave us on this all the way around. We have one clamp in the center, just squeezing it together. Like I said, this lit, these lifts are just, just, just holding that up a little bit. So we're gonna go through, tack, 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 all the way around. These other pieces, there are four bars that come from here, these four locations that go forward, one crossbar on the front. So we're gonna tack that together on the ground, upside down, get all of that tacked together. We're gonna lift it up, set it inside. Uh, as far as that front section goes, it'll just rotate in here, depending on where the height of that windshield is gonna be. So once that's right where we want it, we can tack, tack, tack that all the way across. Um, then remove this from the tub again and weld it all up do the final weld down here and then prep it for paint when we're ready to paint it so once we actually got into it it's actually way easier than we even thought it was going to be so i'm even more excited about this product right now so jared don't don't forget to send a link because i think these are pretty badass so, all right we're going to get after it jared's going to throw some tack welds on here and then we're gonna assemble the front section. you saw what we did we got this rear section built on the ground over here we brought it up put it inside we had a ratchet pull our favorite tool in the middle holding up that front section we had the the, the middle two tubes already welded to this front crossbar Threw that ratchet strap on there squeezed it nice and tight got these bars aligned where they need to be so we can adjust the height got it where it needed to be welded that up back there Weld these up here and here so everything's just tacked so so far this cage is just tacked in every spot um <coughs> i'm liking it more and more honestly <laughs> what do you think jared i love it just get it out of here and get this thing welded up that's the most nerve-wracking part is it's all just tack welded and but this is why it's in here but why it's being primed not painted so yeah trying to try to limit the amount of welding we're doing while it's above even the primer um you know but we did this before we sanded it down which when we sand it down we're taking off you know several millimeters of of material so yeah so we're gonna do our best to remove this out of here without scratching anything up but this will be the last time you guys will see it inside the bronco for a while i really like it it's very simple you don't have the a pillars that you have to deal with Obviously, if this was a rock crawler, probably would not be the, the best option out there. But for a street-driven Bronco, this is, this is awesome. So we are going to do our best to remove this without scratching anything. And then do the final weld on it. And then that will leave us ready to well, uh, paint the roll cage, finish the prep on the body, paint the body. And the body will probably be assembled on the the chassis, everything before the roll cage gets put back in. So we're gonna get at it. See you guys soon.
Jared, what do you think? Came out good. Well, while it's sitting here on the ground, <laughs> we just got to put it back in place. Yeah. But besides so, that, it went good. Yeah, so we picked this up for, it was all for fun off-road. Um, I believe they also called themselves B&B Auto and Fab or something like that, because uh, that's where the invoice came from. Off-road um, and Fab. Off-road and Fab? I think it was B&B B &B, off and B&B, all for fun. So, uh, very happy with it, honestly. We talked about earlier how these plates were already welded on, the proper length, whatnot. Uh, one thing that is cool about it is Broncos are kind of, they're not, 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 there are not two Broncos that are the same. They seem to always have little tweaks here and there. Even the new bodies like this one, they're not the same because we're tweaking it the whole way across. So if one piece isn't tweaked, but another piece is tweaked, it could leave things a little bit different from each other. So with this, with the whole front, which you guys, I'm sure we'll see in the time lapse <clears throat> that we put together inside the rig. What we did do is we welded this crossbar and these two pieces together on the ground or threw some tacks on them. Oh yeah, it's warm. <laughs> and then attached it here. Once it was inside at our height, we used our ratchet pole to hold height. And then we used a ratchet strap around it to hold it in place while we lined up these outside pieces. Um, but yeah, very, very pleased with it. It's something to where that gives you adjustability for any, any differences there might be and they do have different options they have a bunch of different cages they have ones that have the a pillar which we you know like this idea just because it's a road only no off-road it's a little bit cleaner just attaches to the windshield frame there's also a cross piece that you can put right here that will be um inside right right below your your quarters um but we opted not for that we wanted very simple very clean which i think is what we got don't you think jer yeah no, I'm happy with it. It looked really good inside the Bronco when it was there. You know, we didn't have to make any modification to the the glove box door. You know, we didn't have to make a modification to the roll cage, you know, the custom bins that everybody has. Um, we did nothing besides put it together and weld it. Yeah. So, you know, now we can just put our dash in, whether we're going to use the smooth dash or the after or the stock dash, which is probably what we're going to end up doing. Yeah, just where we're, we're, we're talking about, if we use the stock one, we're going to shave a couple of the switches out that are on the left side of the column, yeah. the ashtray and the speaker. The speaker vent, or whatever that is. And leave everything else the way it is. Yeah, that way it's, you know, it's, what's that, what do you call it? Your, uh... Oh, oh Factory Plus? Factory Plus. <laughs> yeah, just kind of factory, just a few twists to make it better. Yeah. But this wire, we are very pleased with this new wire that we're running. It's the Easy Weld. I think it's easy a grind. easy grind. It's yeah. a 023. 023. Um, so with the 023, you use a bit more wire, but uh, a little bit slower welds, a little bit easier controlled. But the heat's still there. Yeah, you can control your heat better, and it's better for body panels. And I think you can use it all the way up to 3 16 but not quarter. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's the majority of what everyone uses anyway. This is close to TIG welding. <laughs> this I seen, you know, for being able to MIG weld this, I mean, you would have thought that this was TIG welded, you know, as far as the heat penetration on all this stuff goes. I mean, as far as Jared's welding, yeah, goes, yeah, not not the pros. Yeah, because I'm not a professional but welder by any means. <laughs> you can't be mad at that. The coloring is great. There's dimes, so not bad at all. Oh, that was the other benefit to this cage. The it's not oiled. The, all the tubing, either either the, they cleaned it when they bent everything up and put it together, or it came that way. That's one thing that Jared and I both hate about <laughs> other cages, or about other cages and other just tubing in general, is you have to clean it. So you're cleaning it before you can weld it, before you really want to touch it or anything else. I understand it's to keep the rust down and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But this did not come covered in oil. We did not clean it. We didn't do anything besides set the pieces together, and weld it, which was, I, I mean, I didn't think about that just now. So I think that was probably the, the best thing about it is it wasn't covered in oil. Yeah, and I'm still clean. Kind of, <laughs> kind of. But yeah, it's Saturday. We came in here just for a few hours just to get a couple things done. 
uh, you know, we just had a couple days of Christmas stuff and all that and starting to miss the shop and not feeling very productive. So we had to make a, yeah. had to get in here and do something, which was just a short day. What, what have we been here? Four hours? Yeah, three? Maybe about 10.45 and it's like two. It's like two now? Something like that. Yeah, it's like three hours. So three hours, we, we you know, we're able to put the roll cage together. And I think we BS for probably 45 minutes of that. <laughs> so really like two hours, it's ready for paint. Yep. So I'm happy. I feel productive. Thanks you guys over at uh, All For Fun Off-Road. Made it very easy for us. Now I feel productive. Yeah, I'll a... put the link below in the, in the description for you guys. So that way you guys can go take a look at what they have. Yeah, and the prices were good and the shipping was good. So Yeah, I got here quick too. I think it was four days. If that, because that was Saturday and Sunday. It was shipped on Friday and we ended up getting it on... <laughs> Wednesday? Oh, was it Wednesday? Week? Yeah. Because we had two deliveries before. that day. We had the transmission, the AOD, mm -hmm. and uh, which was out of a 87 F-150, and it has been rebuilt recently. And then we got this roll cage. So, yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. So Yeah, business days, it was... Like just... two business days? I mean, yeah. not, not bad at all. Um, at least to us here in California, if you're on the East Coast, I'm sure it would take a little bit longer, but still, I'm happy. I'm happy we felt productive on a Saturday. Get to move on, you have a birthday party, and I have laundry, <laughs> so. <laughs> Although I could just do that tomorrow. <laughs> but hope you guys are having a good week. Hopefully your weekend went well, your Christmas celebrations, hopefully, you know, your family didn't. Uh... Drive you crazy. <laughs> I was trying to find something nice way to say it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed your family. Yeah. Sometimes that's difficult. <laughs> but uh, hope you, all that went well. Have a productive week. Get things done. If you hit this part of the video, hit the subscribe button. You have no excuse not to. I don't care if you like the video or not. Just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you'll like one of the videos. Yeah. <laughs> I think three people like videos. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we actually do really appreciate everyone who's been watching. It's 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 picked up a lot quicker than we actually really expected. We hit thousand subscribers in about eight weeks, and then now we're over two thousand subscribers. Like yeah, three weeks 3, after 000. that, you know, huh? We're about going. On, we're gonna be going on three thousand by the end of. We'll be at three thousand probably end of or the middle of this coming week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, which is about New Year's. Yeah. So yeah, I mean. Pretty much two months got us to a thousand. Three months, the following month is going to get us to three thousand, maybe. So that's huge. That's huge for us. You know, we appreciate it. We're just a couple guys, just friends, work on stuff, whatever. Rented a big shop so we can do more <laughs> projects and bigger things, and you know, just a couple regular guys like you guys. So if we can do it, you can do it because we're not that smart. So <laughs> especially me, this is the guy with the brains. But. Hope you guys have a great week. Subscribe. Don't like. Talk to you later.